Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five cents is working out. The strength is good. Now to you Steam Deck fans. <laughs> well, Windows 10 finally got its when Windows finally got its sound driver, huh? Audio driver that is. Listen to this. Chime time. Steam Deck gets Windows audio driver at le at last. But Steam OS is still a better experience. <laughs> Says here Valve released Window Driver for Steam Deck way back in March. But only now do some key features work. The speakers and headphone jacks today. Valve added audio support to its Windows driver package for its handheld. Previously you had to use Bluetooth USB type C speakers for headphones. <laughs> Says here the drivers, there are two. There are two of them. Should fix these issues. You also need to update Valve and AMD APU driver for the for these to work. Says here just be, just because you can install Windows on Steam Deck doesn't mean you should. In my in my impression of Windows 10 on Steam Deck, I found that the experience felt a bit rough around the edges even with support for the GPU Wi-Fi and Bluetooth says hey, I am of the opinion the work valve is doing on Steam OS its Arch Linux based operating system is much more friendly to use with a controller it simply feels more like a fully baked console experience and valve has been uh, squashing bugs and adding features like a lock screen and per game performance profile says here and it's not like windows has performed incredible on on other handhelds windows was also chunk, uh, clunky <laughs> when we ran our review of the aneo next pro that being said it doesn't it does open up other game launchers like the epic store as well as Xbox Game Pass and other ways to run non-Steam games. Then it says here another note on Valve Steam Deck Windows resource page seems to suggest we'll have to wait for what may be the best window installation option on Steam Deck. One you can one one you can dual boot. Hmm says here while the steam deck is fully capable of dual boot the steam os installer that provides a dual boot wizard isn't ready yet valve's page read this will ship alongside with steam os 3 once it's complete for now those who do want to get as close as they can could put windows on a bluetooth on, on a sorry about that bootable sd card <laughs> That would be the dream. Playing most games in Steam OS, but having some space reserved for the title you can only play elsewhere. It says there, if you if you install Windows on Steam Deck, you you're effectively on your own. Valve isn't supplying any support. Previously, Windows 11 couldn't run, but after an update, Valve added. FTPM support. Remember that? <laughs> to, to support the newer operating system. And there you have it. Now you have sound in your uh in your Steam Deck with your Windows. So you play Fortnite on the go, uh Elden Ring's on the go, headphone well, how, how you you know with your with your headset and Play your games on the go with your Steam Deck if you're using Windows or even Linux. But now you have you you, you do have audio now, so yes. <clears throat> Window Windows audio driver on the Steam Deck has been fixed. So enjoy. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. <laughs> nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Work.